afternoon, everyone. It is July 11th, week number 13. Uh, you can't see it here on the um, the uh, Firefox version of my Moodle because that's what I give you for you students. But um, over here on my um, on my Safari version in the black, you can see that today's July 11th. And we really only have one day next week until we go into our tests. Now, the nice thing is that there are actually two weeks from today until July 25th. And for your group presentation, which is what we're going to be talking about today, you have a little bit of time, even though you have to do your desk test on August 1st. So basically two weeks between here and then from here, July 25th, still two more weeks. So there's basically four weeks to make sure that you practice well enough so you can do your group presentation. But today, what I want to explain to you is actually the shape of that group presentation, what you're going to need to do, uh, what you're going to do today. Okay, so basically, it will be a group presentation. A group presentation means four or three people per group. Your group, you decide yourself. I'm not going to say who your group is. You can choose anyone you want. But there is only going to be one three-person group. So if you want to be a three-person group, you have to come to me very quickly and say, Mr. Cruz, we want to be a three-person group. I'll say, okay. And after that, all other groups are four people. So you do it first, you get the three-person group if you want. If you want a four-person group, then take your time. Today, you will choose your four-person groups or three-person groups and you will talk to each other about what your topic will be. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about architecture? Do you want to talk about chemistry? Do you want to talk about cosmetics? Do you want to talk about rockets to Mars? No problem, go ahead. If that's what your group wants to do, that's fine. If that's what you think you want to do, then choose your group members well. Because those are all things that you're going to have to learn how to do when you go to work in a company when it's time for you to do a group presentation. Choose your members, do your research, and do a slideshow. So this group presentation, you have to not only do a manuscript, but as a group, three people or four people, you have to do a PowerPoint, or if you have a Macintosh, if everybody has a Macintosh, a keynote or a Google Slides presentation. To do a slide presentation. To do the manuscript, you have to do the slide presentation. If you remember from last week, this video is the entire WWDC 2019 presentation. But last week, I gave you an edited version showing how Tim Cook and his team introduced people. People say hello, people say goodbye, they walk off, introduce the next person. That's all part of a good group presentation. All of that is something that you have to do as well. Like your presentations last week, I don't want you to use any notes. You will never see me using notes when I speak to you. I don't, I don't talk like this to you because this is not a very good presentation style. That's horrible. It's really bad. Get your ideas in your head in Japanese or in English. Get them in your head. Get ready to say them. Maybe you'll make a mistake. No problem. More important, are you looking at people? Are you gesturing? Are you comfortable when you walk, when you talk, when you present to the next person? Are you comfortable using the computer? You have a team. One person can talk. Another person can run the computer. These are all things that I want you to figure out for yourself before the 25th. And the 25th is our last practice day. That practice day, I want to make sure that everybody's computers are able to hook up to mine through Zoom. I want to look at your slide presentation and I want you to take the time to practice with one group to the next. You have to be able to do this group presentation well by the 25th. So this week,
you have to decide your groups, okay? And decide your presentation topic and then talk to each other. What do you want to do? I don't know, what do you want to do? Well, I can do this. Well, I can make the slideshow. Well, I don't know what to do. Well, let's all go to the library and check the topic information, do the research. Maybe your topic is too difficult. Maybe it's too easy. Or maybe it's a good topic, but you need to do a presentation that will be for about seven or eight minutes. That means for a four person group, one person talks for about two minutes. And then you have to say, thank you very much. The next presenter is now uh, Taro will talk about uh, the bridges in Kyushu. I want every person to speak and the presentation will be about seven or eight minutes. Even the three person group, at least seven minutes. Um, oh, don't use notes. And of course, this whole thing is going to be in English. Okay. So before we go on, I'm going to give you about five minutes, 10 minutes. I want you to start talking with each other. And, oh, it's over here. And I want you to start making your team members. Now, once you have your team members, this is just some scrap paper. On the back of this, I want you to write in Roman letters, okay, don't write in kanji, in Roman letters, the names of your team members, student numbers, and somewhere on the paper, tell me for now what your topic will be. You can change your mind if you want to go from SpaceX and rockets, and suddenly you want to talk about Tesla, that's no problem. If you want to change your topic later, that's fine. But trust me, there's not much time. So you really should choose your members, choose your topic now. And I suggest stay with a good topic, okay? So for now, that's the first thing we're going to do. I want you to talk to each other, find your group members, okay? And if you're going to be a three-person group, Come and tell me right away, and I will give you the three-person group slot. If you want to be a four-person group, that's fine, too. This paper's right here. Take one piece, write your names in Roman letters, write your topic, and then give it to me, and then I'll make sure that you've got your slot. Let's do that for the next 10 minutes, and once I have... Oh, there should be about eight groups. There are 31 students that naturally come to this class. Now, if you think... One of your friends today can't come because he's sick. No problem. You can put his name on the paper. But I would suggest still that you call him up and ask him, hey, is it okay if I put you in our group? Check with your friend first. But if you want to put their name on there, that's fine. But I don't want any problems in the next class when a person comes to me and says, Mr. Cruz, they, they didn't tell me I was going to be in that group. I want to be in this group. But make sure that you call that person and you check with them that it's okay. Make your groups, choose your topic, make your make your uh, your name list, and give it to me. I'll give you about five, maybe ten minutes for that. Once I have all eight of those papers, then we can continue. I actually don't want to take a long time today, so if we can finish this quickly, then I can send you off to do your research at the library because I don't have any plans to do anything with you in this class. I want to give you as much time as possible between now and the 25th to talk to your team members, start doing your research, start writing your English manuscript. Okay? Does anyone have any questions? Okay, next five, 10 minutes, I hope shorter. Uh, make your name lists and give me the resulting papers. Go ahead. Okay, so I just want to make sure that you guys understand. You have to provide me with your manuscript on Sunday, July 24th at 11 p.m. That is a manuscript that all of you group members will provide through the submission. That manuscript will be what you will use during the presentation, but you can change that manuscript. As a matter of fact, you have to um, submit an improved version of that manuscript 
before your group presentation. Also, I didn't mention this, but I've decided that we're going to have a paper test. Actually, I didn't decide that. The university decided that. The university came back to me and said, Mr. Cruz, don't forget, you need to have a paper test. I don't like the idea of a paper test. I think a paper test for a presentation class is stupid, but the university needs you to do a paper test. So we're going to have a paper test on August 1st. The final class, the 16th week on August 8th, is when you do your group presentations. But July 25th is when we come back next week, and I want you to have your manuscript and most of your slideshow finished. Don't forget, you have to do this without looking at your notes. So you should be spending some time, too, to remember what it is that you're going to say so that you don't forget anything when it's time to say it to other people. OK, any questions? Then let's do it this way. The groups that gave me their name lists, you can go. Today you're finished. Go to the library, do your research, start talking about what topics you want to do. If you want to stay here, you can stay. But I would suggest you go someplace where you can relax, talk to each other in bigger voices, go to the library, start doing your research, start talking to your group members. If you have not yet given me your name list, give me your name list today. I want that name list today because I want to start arranging, organizing the group presentations for next week. Until the 25th, keep an eye on the Moodle because the Moodle might change. I might make announcements on the Moodle and change some of these dates. But for now, remember, Sunday, July 24th, write your manuscript and put it up there together as a group. Okay, everybody all right? Okay, then let's do it for that. The people who gave me your name lists, you can go. The people who have not yet given me your, the name list, give me the name list and then you can go. Thanks very much, everyone.